Senju Jikage back at it again, bringing you my Naruto Manga Chapter 693 review. And man, this Manga Chapter pissed me off. Pissed me off. If it's one thing I hate, if it's one thing I hate, is waiting two weeks just to get to a Manga Chapter where the whole Manga Chapter is nothing but talking. And it's not even, it's not even crucial talking. It's stupid talking. Sakura. <laughs> Sakura. Why do you still love Sasuke? Sasuke has shown no interest in you, basically throughout this whole Naruto series. Outside of maybe saying thank you one time when y'all were children, when he was about to leave the village. Why do you still love him? What is this? This is not even real love. This is, this is craziness. This is stupidity. <laughs> Think about this in, in, in real life. If you had someone whether you a boy or a girl, if you had someone that liked you a lot in the beginning, right? And it was and it was like a normal, like, okay, this person liked me or interested in me or whatever. But then all of a sudden, because you spoke some words to them, they start loving you and crap. And the love start going deeper and you have shown no interest in that person. You'd be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on? This person is crazy. Sasuke even said himself, like, man, I have no interest in her at all at all how does she not see that how does kakashi not see that why has kakashi tried to, to speak towards this fake love crap to try to persuade sasuke to not do what he's doing or not do what he's going to attempt to do in fighting and killing naruto why but i guess at the end of the day masashi used that as an excuse to get sakura out of the picture with that genjutsu she fell under. I was happy for a split second. I was like, oh, yes. Murka, get her out the way. But at least she'll be out the way, hopefully, for the whole duration of this fight. Along with Kakashi being out of commission because his body couldn't take the, the toll that the Sharingan put on it. So now we have no one else that can disturb or interrupt Naruto and Sasuke's battle. We have no one else that can try to jump in and try to defeat Sasuke or try to back up Naruto and get murked in the process, aka Hinata. Everyone is under the spell still, the infinite Tsukuyomi. The only person that can interrupt is the Sage of Six Paths with maybe something else that he's been holding back or maybe some words or some something about the history of his two sons that he hasn't told them yet. Maybe. And Naruto can still release the Nine-Tailed Beast. From their jails. Outside of that, nothing else, nothing else. We need fighting, fighting, and more fighting. Don't give me no talk, no jutsu. Don't give me no Naruto persuading Sasuke to come back to the good side at the end. None of that. Somebody got to go, or they both have to go. Cause don't forget, when Naruto and Sasuke spoke under the bridge, after, after Sasuke defeated Danzo, was it? Naruto said, next time we fight, we'll both die. So let's see if Masashi keeps his word basically and stays true to that foreshadowing that was told to us so long ago. What did you think of the chapter? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more Naruto manga reviews. Until next week, until that action actually gets started. Send you Jikage, baby. And that's how we do it.